Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And as usual, guys, I have the latest version of Android, which is Android 11. And of course, this would apply to any Samsung device, especially those on um, the One UI 3.0. All right, guys, so if you find that you have the new update, there's a cool new feature that everybody should know about. And this feature has to do with permissions and apps. As you know, privacy is very important. And of course, you need to manage which apps has access to various portions of your device, such as your microphone, your call log, your messages, you name it, all right? So there's a new permission manager in Android 11 that makes everything very simple and places everything in one area so you can easily control and deny access to sensitive parts of your device such as the camera microphone and so on all right so let me show you where to find that new setting all right so the first thing you want to do guys is just go ahead and what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings once you're in the settings menu as you're seeing here i'm in the settings menu you're going to go all the way down so we're in settings so scroll down you're going to go to the option that says privacy and it says permission manager go ahead and go to privacy this is very new and in here guys you're going to see this sparkling are the sparkly brand new feature that's called permission manager you can tap the information here to see what it's about and it says um it's basically has to do with what apps um what are app permissions it says apps can't allow permission by themselves they need to be explicitly allowed by you this is why you see pop-ups that ask you to allow permissions when you use an app or feature for the first time read these pop-ups carefully and devices with which permissions you feel comfortable allowing, allow or deny. A permission determine what each app on your phone is allowed to access. This includes access to data stored on your phone, like contacts, media files, also access to hardware, um, like the camera, microphone, allowing a permission, allow the app to access data or hardware, denying a permission prevents the app from accessing it. All right, so of course, it's basically what I just said. All right, so we're gonna go into the feature, so go ahead and tap. Um, once you're in the feature, guys, you should see all of your apps along with the relevant permission. And I like the way it's organized. It shows you, for example, your body sensor, which apps um, are want to access your body sensor, your car logs, your camera, for example, your contacts, you name it. I'm gonna use the camera as an example, seeing this is a popular option. It says 13 of 46 apps are allowed. All right, guys, so as you see here, guys, so, these are the ones that allow all the time. I have none for that. These are allowed only while in use, which is the secondary option to full all out um, allow. And if you come down here, these are the ones that are denied. For example, Adobe Acrobat, there's no way that should have access to my camera. So I have had that on um, deny. And you have a lot more down here. Let's look at those that I have given access. And let's show you, for example, you can review each. So for example, AR apps allowed while in use ar apps is of course using your camera for augmented real reality ar zone the camera itself there is um duo that's a video calling um application instagram while in use uh, messages which would make sense in a sense and you can go through um let's say for example here um allowed while in use the camera my fortress um this does not need access to my um camera so i'm gonna deny but there's no way that should be um, the case as it's just a security um, app so it should not have access to my camera so i've denied it all right notice has been removed and you can go through and review each application in the list you can come back out in the main menu you can look at location and basically control your device make sure that anything that has access to any feature on your device it makes sense that it has access maybe you absent minorly hit allow when it asks before all right so this is a big thing to make sure that your device is up to date with and make sure you're controlling your device and what can gain permission so this is a great new feature from um, samsung so thumbs up to samsung or um, android 11 for adding this new feature is very very cool and very important all right guys so i'll end the tutorial here as always ricardo gardner from block tech tips with a permission update on Android 11. Make sure you check that out, guys. Ricardo Gardner saying bye until next time. Bye. Love you guys.